Many things in this world do not last very long. But the wrath of a woman scorned can last a long, long time. Even centuries. Lights out. being kept waiting to get into my own house, Styers. Millie! Trix! I'm sorry, Mr. Turner, but I came when you rang. I had to ring. This ridiculous costume has no pocket for a key, no cigarettes for that matter. And I don't like finding the house in darkness, Styers. No, sir, but I didn't expect you back from the dance so early. Mrs. Trenner was indisposed. Where on earth is she? Millie! <laughs> Oh, don't be so cross, Roddy. I'm sorry, Trix, but where is Millie? Gazing at the moon. Oh. It was all much too cold for me. Oh, stars, I want a cigarette. And close the door, darling, that wind's freezing. Millie, come on, will you? Trix is cold. Yes, Rod, I'm coming. The moon is so beautiful. And the wind, it felt good on my face. Hello, stars. I'm sorry you were indisposed, madam. Is there anything I can get for you? Oh, no, thanks. I'm all right. It was just a headache. But you might like the fire for Miss Cole. Oh, don't bother. I can do it. Come, Rod. Help me play Boy Scout. Good night, sir. Good night, madam. <laughs> Oh, well, here we are. How jolly. It was such a nice dance, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Trix, but you and Raj should have stayed. I, I could have come home alone. But, darling, think how that would have shocked your neighbors. <laughs> they were shocked enough anyhow, weren't they, Roddy? Why, because I danced with my house guest. Oh, is that it? I thought it was because I dared to appear as your family ghost. <laughs> really, the way they all gaped at me. They take thought... family ghosts very seriously in these parts, my girl. But since Lady Anne is my ancestress and really concerns no one but me, I say you're most welcome to her. Oh, thanks. That's sweet. But Millie was shocked too, weren't you, darling? I was afraid Rod wouldn't like it, but since he doesn't... Why wouldn't I like it? Because when I first came here, I wanted to go to a dance as Lady Anne, and you said it was flouting conventions. You stopped me. Oh? I don't remember. Oh, well, that was different. You were my wife. I expected you to be more dignified. Oh, is that why you've changed, Millie? Have you spent the past ten years trying to be dignified to please your husband? Oh, you poor darling, how dreadful. When I think of you at school, always laughing. And then your first letters from this house telling me how you and Rod went about like rapturous idiots, laughing together at everything you did because you loved each other so much. You did, didn't you, Millie? You weren't just making that up for my benefit. No. No, she wasn't. It used to be like that. I don't remember ever wanting you to change, Millie. No, you didn't. I never tried to. Oh, she's been shut away in this lonely old house on the board too long. Why don't you take her to London? I'd like to, but she doesn't care to go. As a matter of fact, Millie is more fond of this old house than I am. Are you really, Millie? Ghost and all? Aren't you ever afraid? Of Lady Anne? Oh, no. But she's a horrible ghost. She killed her own husband. Millie probably thinks she was justified. Oh, no, Rod, I don't. I don't think murder's ever justified. But I'm not afraid of seeing her. That's because you're so safe. No one living ever saw her. And I dare say no one now dead ever did either. 
Lady Anne is supposed to walk tricks, but I can assure you she doesn't. Oh, that's too bad. I do so love thrills. I... Well, where would you go if you wanted to see her? Where do they say she walks? Why, here. Here? Oh, yes, indeed. She comes from her room down the stairs, across the corridor, across the hall, living her crime all over again. You mean she killed her husband in this hall? <laughs> well, I thought it was in some kind of underground passage. It was, and the entrance to that, my girl, is precisely here. Oh, Roddy! But I don't see anything. <laughs> no, you can't. But right here, there's a spring concealed in the panel. It opens a doorway, and beyond that is the beginning of the passage leading underground. Does it still work? I think so. I haven't cared to try it for years. Why not? Because I explored it thoroughly then. Oh, it's an awful place. Cold, wet, dark, and full of wrong turnings to get yourself lost in. <laughs> Believe me, once was enough. Oh, but I'd like to look in, Roddy. Can't I just do that? Oh, I suppose so. You must satisfy your curiosity. Now, see here. See what I'm oh, doing let now? let me, let me. Oh, all right, you take over. Oh! There. There you are. A bit rusty, but... It is foul, isn't it? Very. But I warned you. Oh, no, you don't, my girl. Oh. But I want to see the grave where she buried our husband. You can't. Besides, it isn't here. It's a long way from here underground. You'd only get lost if you tried. Wouldn't she, Millie? Yes. And even if you did manage to reach it, there's nothing to see but a shallow hole filled with rubble. The roof caved in years ago. Did you ever see it, Millie? Oh, once, when I first came here. I took her there, and she cried. Very nice of her, don't you think? Crying for my ancestor, Harley Trenner, who once lay there so foully oh. murdered. Well, I... I was crying for Lady Anne. But Minnie, she murdered her husband. Yes, but I thought of all the things that drove her to murder, and I was sorry for her. Oh, you couldn't have been. Yes, I was. I, I thought of her growing up in this house, a cavalier nobleman's gay, lovely young daughter. And then I thought of the night the Roundheads came and took the house by violence. And I saw her still in her pretty clothes, hiding in that passage. And I knew how she felt when they found her and told her her father was dead. Well, those were the fortunes of war. And if you ask me, the Roundheads were darn nice to her. Their captain married her. Yes, he did. And then I thought of her as his wife, Lady Anne, obedient and quiet. Lady Anne, dressed in the sober clothes of a Puritan woman, forbidden to sing, forbidden to dance, and yet gradually with the years adjusting herself to it until the girl came what girl her cousin orphaned by the wars as gay and lovely as she herself had once been and i, I thought of lady anne waiting for harley trenner to change the girl but he didn't and i thought of lady anne watching silently while he and the girl well that's why she murdered him in the end you know Trish. well how very unfair of her Oh, I hope she was properly punished. Oh, she was, Trix. That's why she's a ghost. You know, condemned to walk by night the route along which she led old Harley to his death. From her room down the corridor, along the gallery, across the hall, knife in hand, and into the passage, where she stays just long enough to kill a man, and then out, knife still in hand, and... Styles, what the devil do you mean by standing there? I didn't wish to interrupt, sir. Oh, you didn't? Well, what is it? If I might speak with Madam for a moment, oh, please. Sir. Yes, certainly, Stars. And then what did Lady Anne do, Rod? Hmm? Oh, she went upstairs again. Satisfied? Oh, no, I want to go in the passage. Well, you can't. But look, if you're a very good girl, perhaps I may let you tomorrow morning. But now's the real time, Rod. You know, the witching hour between 12 and 1. What is it, Millie? I've got to go to the servants' hall for a minute. Anything wrong? No, nothing, I don't think. Don't worry. I shan't be long. Well, what do you suppose that's all about? Oh, I don't know, Roddy. Does it matter? Much? Well, I... No, I imagine not. Tricks. Oh, don't, Roddy. You yourself just reminded me. We're alone together for the first time since you arrived. Yes, but Millie's my friend. Well, she's my wife for that matter. But I'm human and so are you. Oh, I never said I wasn't. Oh, if this was for me alone. Yes, oh, yes, Roddy, dear. But we can't hurt her. I don't want to hurt her. Then behave. But this isn't going to hurt her if she doesn't know. After all, what is it? To kiss you, to hold you in my arms a few moments? Is that so wrong, Trix? No. 
We're both just after the thrill, aren't we? Oh, tricks. My marriage has gone stale in ten years. I'm sorry I can't help it. it... Oh, Roddy. Poor darling Roddy. But not now. She'll be back. We can't. Then when can we? I don't know. I... Trix, will you do this for me? Tonight, later, after we've all gone upstairs, will you come down here? Will you come back here and meet me? That should be safe. Will you? Yes, I'll come, Roddy. Oh, Millie, darling, there you are. What kept you so long? Oh, I, I had to see Catherine. Trix, can, can you do without a maid tonight? Oh, why should I? What's wrong with her? Well, she thinks she saw Lady Anne. Where? Upstairs, about 15 minutes ago. Oh, not really. No, no, of course not. It was just the moonlight playing tricks, but she, neither Stars nor I could convince her. She swears she saw Lady Anne in the corridor. Doing what? Well, listening at Rod's door. She wasn't afraid at first because she thought it was you, Trix. Me? Yes, in your costume. Oh. And then she heard you laugh down here. She was terrified. She rushed down the back stairs, woke up Stars and had hysterics. Oh, the fool. Now I suppose she won't go upstairs again. And I never can get out of this horrible tight costume by myself. I'll help you, Trix. No. I'm glad to. Oh, I mean, darling, with your, with your poor headache, I just simply couldn't bother you. I'll manage somehow. Of course she will, Millie. You shouldn't disturb your rest. You need it now. Yes, darling. Come along with me. Right, if you want any sleep at all. Are you coming, Roddy? In a moment. You girls go ahead. I'll keep the lights on down here till you're safe. That's a wonderful idea, just in case Lady Anne is still around. Come on, Millie. Let's go see. All right. You know, I don't think I'm afraid. But once I'm in my room, I'll bolt the door and not set foot outside till morning. How about you? It wouldn't do me much good. I have Lady Anne's room. You idiot, wait. If you're playing ghost, my girl, come off it. I'm not scared. Tricks, you little fool, don't. Stop that. Come out of there. Tricks! Have you gone off your rocker? Tricks, it's not safe in there. Come on out. Oh, all right, my girl. I know you're hiding just round the corner and you want me to come in after you, don't you? But I won't. Tricks, the joke's no good, so give it up, will you? Tricks? Tricks! Oh, all right, you silly little fool, have your joke. But when I get you out of there... Tricks! Where are you? Tricks! Tricks!
Billy, why aren't you asleep? Why aren't you? Oh, I didn't know, darling. I was wide awake and I thought I'd have a last try at seeing the ghost. You aren't afraid anymore? Oh, no, I never was, darling. I, I just pretended to be because it was so much fun. So if you came down because you heard me come, please do go back and stop bothering about me. I'm all right, Millie. And the ghost probably won't show up while you're here. Unless he already has tricks. He? Yes. Rod. Where is he? I don't know where Rod is or what you're talking about. I won't leave till I see him, Trix. Not till this is settled between the three of us. You mean you guess? Everybody who saw you tonight guessed. Rod thinks he's in love with you. Well, perhaps he really is. But that's what I want to know, Trix, because if he is, I'll accept it. But, Trix, I don't believe that. Don't you? No. I don't believe that a man who loved a woman as much as Rod loved me can stop so easily. I... I'm sure he can't. Rod, don't you understand? I know he's bored. I, I, I know you can give him laughter and excitement and... And you can't anymore, darling. Well, perhaps. But love isn't just those things, Trix. And I think if, if something happened to make Rod choose between us, he'd realize he still loves me. Oh, so you came down here to make him choose. Oh, it's too bad he's not here. He'd adore that. And may I ask, Millie, why you thought he'd be here? You forgot to say goodnight to each other. Oh, oh. So you jumped to the utterly mad conclusion that we were going to meet here. You were going to, and you did. Trix, where is he? Where is Rod? Trix. Trix! For heaven's sake, Trix, where are you? Why don't you answer me? Oh, there you are. And it's about time, my girl. Now then, if you don't... Oh! I'm going to break my neck trying to get you out of here. You're... Where are you? I don't know where Rod is. I only know he isn't here. And since he's not deaf either, Millie, I hardly think he'll come down now, do you? But he came. I heard him. He couldn't have, Millie. I swear I haven't seen him since you and I left him. He came, though. He left his room and went towards the gallery. He must have gone somewhere. He must have gone somewhere while he waited for you. Oh, Trix, you've opened the panel again. I did not. I... Why, Millie, it is open. Rod must have... No. No, he wouldn't have. You saw how he was about it. He'd never... Oh, Millie, look. The candle by itself just went. Millie, what? Did... <coughs> Millie. Yeah. Uh, Lady Anne. Oh. Yes. Oh, I'm frightened. Why? Why? Oh, she's gone now. I don't suppose she even knew we were here. She was just doing what she did on the night she murdered her husband. In... Trix, get out of my way. Let me by. No, stay with me. Let me by. Don't you understand? That's where Ronnie's is. Shut up in the passage and I've got to... No, he isn't. He can't be. Let me go. Roddy's. He must have followed her. He thought she was you. Millie! I can't see Trix. Turn on the lights. I won't. I don't want that awful place open. But Rod's in here. I don't believe it. Turn the lights on, Trix. I won't. Rod's dead anyway, Millie. Don't you realize if he followed her, she killed him? She may have. But I've got to see her. I've got to know and, and help him if I still come. No, no, it's a candle. That's what I want. Oh. No, I won't let you. Give me those matches. I won't, I won't. Millie, I'm afraid you can't leave me down here with Give me thing. those matches. Oh, Come oh. with me, then. Rod's dead anyway, Millie. Don't you realize he's dead? Oh. But I've got to care. I love Rod. I love him. Oh, you fool. Rod. Rod, dear. It's all right. I... Millie, help me. Yes, I'm going to, dear. Rod's alive, Trix. Turn on the lights. Yes, Millie. Millie. Yes, dear, it's all right. I'm here. Oh, Millie. It's all right. If you knew. Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive, Rod. I've been rotten to you, I know. But in there, when I was lost in there, 
After what happened at the grave. Oh, don't talk about it, Rod. There's no... Only this. Afterwards. And you've got to believe this because it's true. Afterwards, when I was lost in the pitch black, I was calling your name and praying God to let me come back to you. I did believe me. Yes, I do, Rod. And that was long before I ever hoped of getting back alive. Before, suddenly through the walls of this room, I heard voices. And what they were saying. Your voice, Millie. Saying that you love me. Heaven knows why you do, but thanks. And thank you too, Trix, for saying you didn't. I was frightened. Of course you were. I'm sorry about the whole thing. But it's all over now, and you're quite safe. So good night, Trix. Are you trying to send me upstairs? I thought you might want to go. It's very late. That thing's up there. Uh, Lady Anne Rod, we, we saw her come out of the panel and go up. And if you think I'll go upstairs with her just because you two want to be alone down here, I... What's that? The clock. Striking one. One. Then there's no ghost upstairs now, Trix. You're quite safe. Lady Anne has just left us. Hasn't she, Millie? Yes. It's no longer the witching hour, but if you're still afraid... <coughs> no, Trix... I'm not anymore tonight. But if you think I'll stay here another night, you're both mad. I'm leaving first thing in the morning. Oh, Trix. No, let her go. But... It's, it's better. For her, too. Millie. Yes, what? I don't think Lady Anne will come back tomorrow night. Do you? <laughs> no. Nor the next night either. Someday she may, perhaps. When there's another faithless husband to call her back. But Millie, I promise you that won't be in our time. Perhaps the eternal triangle wouldn't be quite so eternal if there were a few more ghosts like Lady Anne.